All right, what's going on, y'all? Corpus Christi Originals back at it again. Um, coming to you live or coming to you recording from the Streamlab Studio, downtown Corpus Christi, Texas, at Produce Sound Studios um, here on People Street. Forgive us for not going live. We had some technical difficulties, so we're recording it. We're going to post it later. So leave comments, questions, whatever later to help us with engagement. Uh, as per Tina's suggestion, appreciate you. So today we have Tina La Cochina. Hey. Tina the Nasty in English. Translation. <laughs> We're going to have a translator. Do a translator. A sign language person to hear. Thanks for coming on. I'm so happy to be here. Thanks for inviting me. I'm digging the shirt, man. Yeah. Slayer slash Selena. Yeah, Look at yeah, that. Yeah, oh, yeah. man. Got a rep. I, yeah. Shout that's... out to Galactic. That's where I scored this shirt. That's dope. It's dope. Yep. For sure. Yeah. So we were talking, we were talking before air that um, there's 25 plus comedian <laughs> yeah in town that's a lot yeah well on thursdays we have a uh, open mic night at mesquite street downtown yeah and i mean the list fills up to like 20 30 people sometimes yeah yeah and but we only get like five minutes so <laughs> yeah it's and we're talking too like it's not enough do you feel like there's enough time for those comedians to to, to work their set in town you know what i mean yeah every day because it seems like a small town and there's, I don't know how many places is there. There's the exchange, the exchange, right? Where you do yeah, well, mine, as well. My, my, uh, my residency at exchange is more of a, a comedy showcase. Okay. So I usually book either, um, regional, <coughs> excuse me, or like touring comedians, local comedians. Um, so, and it's on a, the last Tuesday of the month. So that cool. one's just a monthly show. Um, but as far as open mics, we have Thursday is like a, for sure, like that one gets really uh, busy yeah and then we have um on sundays we have uh jay everett at riches um on i think that's weber <laughs> i'm laughing then, because that's what the, the slap happened oh the other <laughs> yes where is that at anyways riches? it's on weber it used to be called by h-e-p yeah in well, that oh, in that like, shopping it was like a like a pool hall right yeah 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 so, so you said Thursday nights, or when when do they have that once a month? On you Sundays, think? it's at Riches, and then on Mondays, it's at Tapology on Staples with okay. Miguelito. Um, and then on Tuesdays, um, if it's we're usually it's my showcase on the last Tuesday of the month. Mm -hmm. uh, but sometimes we'll have open mic um, at Panacea, and House of Rock also has awesome um, an open mic on Tuesdays. So. so so there's one every day of the week, or yeah, except for like Fridays and Saturdays. Um, usually those are like actual comedy shows yeah um so those are usually uh paid events or you mm. know you'll have to it's like an actual show like be booked or whatever yeah or yeah not really an open mic where it's free anybody can sign up it's not yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow yeah man so so your first open mic it, it, man what was that like i can't imagine because i've thought about it i'm, I'm sure everybody's thought you've about never it tried that. it no i'm sure everybody's thought about it at one point and it's like I, dude what do i talk about am i gonna bomb like what yeah you know what <laughs> i mean how do you go about like how do you get over the, the nerves and the fear of like yeah. actually finally doing it, you know? Well, I I didn't try it until the first time I tried it, it was on my 30th birthday. Yeah. Um, which was almost 10 years ago. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, so it was more like a bucket list type of thing yeah. where I was like, I wanna do it, I wanna I've always wanted to try it, it looks so fun or whatever. Yeah. And um and my my coworkers at the time were like, we should go. Let's all go. We'll support wow. you. We'll clap. We'll laugh. Yeah. So sure enough, um, my birthday landed on Thursday. So I went to nice. Mesquite Street Pizza and I signed up. And uh, the one that actually even introduced me was Andy. Yeah. Um, I bumped into him at another restaurant or bar or something. And he was performing and he was like, yeah, you should come out. Cool. And so I started coming out to see him. And then I ended up signing up. Yeah. So, um, man, it was, a, it was so fun. Like I, it was an experience I can't even describe, you wow. know, were people laughing? I mean, it, it was, um, well, it was my first time. Yeah. Um, but, um, I had like birthday jokes and then I ended up roasting Andy. <laughs> and so it ended up being like super fun and, cool. and I could not stop doing it. I would sign, I signed up next week and yeah. I, I signed up the following week and every Thursday I'm here downtown, um, Damn. checking it out, making friends, networking, and pretty much building my brand for Cochina comedy. Yeah, amazing. So you just started that fire and then eventually you just like it, kept on billowing it. it. Was, like, really? Yeah. It was just like something fun to try, you know, bucket list type of thing, Yeah. Um, which I encourage everybody to try. I'm not saying like do it every week or whatever, but like just, you know, one time go mm -hmm. up and 
say a funny story. You know, remember that first time that you tried mushrooms or the first time you got drunk or the first time, you know, maybe something happened while you were in an elevator mm. or your car ride to work. Yeah. Something happened and you want to tell a friend, right? You want to be like, dude, you know what happened to me? You want to believe it. And then, you know, and you, it, it's surprising mm. of how many people will relate to you. Like, dude, that yeah. happened to me. <laughs> and, you know, and, and like somebody said it, right? Somebody yeah. said it. It's, just, it's, just, it's funny. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out Andy Gomez. Andy Gomez, what's up, man? We got we got your your homie in here, uh, Tina La Cochina. Thanks for uh, suggesting. Andy. So, appreciate you. Yeah. And yeah. So he, uh, it's pretty cool to know that he actually helped you to to make that first to take that first step. So that's awesome. Yeah. That's good. So Tina La Cochina comedy. How, when did you when did you know that we were gonna have that brand or? Did you, well, did you... um, Cochina is more of like a like a nickname. More mm -hmm. like okay, so like growing up. <clears throat> Um, you know, it rhymes, so it kind of stuck. Yeah. Um, but the reason I was called that is because I have a birthmark on my face, um, on my chin, you do? and you yeah, do? I have makeup on. Oh. But um, so yeah, so it looks like my face is dirty. <laughs> so. Well, shout out the cotton pickers, man. Yeah, Rob Sound Cotton Pickers. Rob Sound in the all house. the bully, all the bullies that uh, you know. Yeah. That's now I have tight. that. I use it as a stage name. Oh, I love Rob's Town. That's my hometown. Yeah, my mom yeah. still lives there, um, and I I love it. I I always represent. Yeah. When I go on stage, I always talk about my hometown. That's cool. Um, and I'm always there. My mom's there, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right down the road, man. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, from Rob's Town. Yeah, Rob's Town people doing it for sure. It's awesome. So your your career. Uh, so what? Did, so what inspired? So there you guys. Kind of we I got that. Um. Uh, so what are your big biggest comedic influences? Let's see. Um, I think when I was younger, I was, uh, I, don't, I don't know if you remember, like, right right after the news, they would show Seinfeld. Yeah. Like, um, like at 1030 or something. And I always the remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, you know, when, um, when the show starts, it's him doing stand up and yeah. it's always just like a few sec you know it's not his whole bit it's just like and i always wanted like more like man i wonder what he's gonna wow. say next like what's the next joke gonna be yeah so um that really like got me curious about stand up um and then of course um the comedians that are doing it now that i kind of um follow is like angela johnson yeah um christella christella i i there's like um, comedians that I've followed, like, you know, Dave yeah. Chappelle, I've been watching him forever. Yeah, I for love sure. Dave Chappelle. Cool. Um, you know, yeah. but there's other uh, comedians here in Texas that, man, have really um, inspired me, like, oh, I, I can do it. Like, you know, I, yeah. Um, and that's mostly like, my f comedy family here in Corpus. Like, mm -hmm. my, my, uh, my friend Ana Ramirez, mm -hmm. She's like one of the persons like I kind of go to like, hey, this is happening. You want to go with me? Or like, wow, what do you wow. think about this project? And we bounce ideas off each other. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, in the beginning, Andy kind of we would always after open mic, we hang out afterwards and we talk comedy. And so that included the rest of the comedians. Amazing. Um, like Javi and, you know, Javi has taken me on the road awesome. uh, with him several times, you yeah. know. And and so it's just like I'm learning even the ones that um the comedians that have started after me, they're, they end up starting open mics and um, doing projects and improv and doing other things in the arts. And I'm just truly inspired. The comedy circle that we have right now, we, we like motivate each other. Um, we, you know, support each other. If, if I'm having an event, usually I can count on a lot of the comedians to share my flyer or tell their friends and family to come to my show. Yeah. Um, or even show up. Like, it's just nice to have an audience, you know? So that yes. way the comedians that I book have somebody to tell jokes to. So, awesome. Yeah. Shout yeah. out Javi Luna. He was on episode one. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Man, you, is it, so is it tough? Is it difficult? Would you say because the city is so small for comedians to like, you know what I mean? To make it or practice or whatever. What, what are the challenges that y'all have? That, yeah, it's, you know, um, I think it's hard um sometimes the audience is not as open as we would like mm. you know uh certain topics right now it seems like politics is a very sensitive subject wow. um so those types of challenges but i think um the fact that we like push through that you know we find the humor in it i mean try not to take everything so seriously right we find a silver lining yeah in everything that happens so um really that's how we kind of keep it going 
Um, we try like there are certain places that really don't welcome us, you know, really? especially, wow. you know, it, depending on what type of comedy we're we're doing, you know, a lot of, yeah, you know, some sometimes certain places want clean comedy uh, or don't say anything about politics or don't say anything about you know religion wow. or how do you, how do you so, feel about that like can you work around that or in certain situations something? like um in certain situations if i'm asked like hey i would like for you to MC this event um yeah. please don't say the f word or <laughs> hey you can do this but please don't bring up any politics yeah mm. you know if i'm emceeing an event or if somebody books me to host or mm. you know um be a guest and and do a spot um, whatever, wow. if, if it is something where I'm like, well, you know what? I'm actually not comfortable with that. I, I, I don't think I, I I'll have to pass. And I've had to do that. Some people are like, we want 30 minutes of all clean comedy. Wow. Um, and don't mention this or that and that. I'm like, oh, and that's, that's all my, that's, yeah, yeah it's very limiting. And oh, it's lim okay. Yeah. So I, I wouldn't be able to be Tina La Cochina. I'm like, do you know my stage name? Yeah, How are you going to sure. book me? <laughs> you can't even say my stage name. When oh you my God. That's so crazy, man. And that's happened. Like people will book me and they won't even introduce me by my stage name they'll just say all right coming to the stage is tina and oh like, wow so man uh, say you gotta tiptoe around that that sucks yeah that's okay that's you, still gotta, you still gotta maintain a level of professionalism like as it seems like it in this city yeah you would hope you <laughs> <laughs> i try wow I mean, I try. <laughs> so yeah yeah so um so you just you won like uh no, what is it? The Ben Magazine or whatever, like yeah. five, times, five times or something like that. This is my fifth year. Yeah, congrats. Thank you. How do you feel about that? It was. I'm. You know, I'm always surprised. Really? Wow. <laughs> yeah, because I don't think anybody knows no, me. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I'm super private. I'm super private. If you look me up, you yeah, won't, you won't really find my comedy, or you won't really find. Is it? Um, is it? Is that because you're private? I mean, I am private. You, you choose to be that I way. I choose okay. to be private. Like I, I like what I do, you know, yeah. I, I work during the day, I work in education and then at night I do comedy on the <laughs> weekends, I travel and I do shows. And so it, I, I, I'm able to manage it better that way, keeping yeah. it separate and, and things like that. I mean, of course my students and the people I work with and things like that, yeah, they, some of them know, Hey, did I see you on a flyer? <laughs> hey, <laughs> but for the most part, you know, I, I, um, mm. I'm able to, to manage and juggle both yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, if anything, I use my personal life for material because when I go on stage, I'm talking about my mom and I'm yeah. talking about my do you, so, friends. Yeah, and, do you make up story like? Oh yeah, so there's you know a percentage of of real life situations, and yeah. then I tweak it a little bit, add a little <laughs> bit more, <I> exaggerate. It's <laughs> yeah. awesome. My brother's always like, "Te pasas, yeah, te pasas. You go too far. You go a lot. <laughs> I make the story a little more spicy. Uh, how do you, yeah. <laughs> how do you how do you handle uh, crowds or hecklers? Um, I don't. I break down. I cry. I, yeah. <laughs> it's hard. You know, I'm super sensitive. So mm. I get my feelings hurt really easy. Maybe that's another reason why I'm super private. I, I don't. Um, wow. So crazy. Yeah. It's like you're, you, and you go on stage and you do jokes and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. So when somebody doesn't laugh or if I, I can't make them, you know, smile or anything, it really hurts. Like I go home and it hurts. Wow. Yeah. It hurts so, my heart. Is that motivation to help you like? get better at what you're doing sometimes sometimes mm. it's motivation to end it all you know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> depends you know depends on the situation depends on the mood <laughs> <laughs> oh that's crazy oh man uh rob's down in the house yeah 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 go red Cotton go picking. red yeah yeah uh is there been a time uh when you had a joke that didn't land as expected uh what did you do to recover um, well, in the beginning, when I first started, yeah, oh, okay. I, I like kind of like would repeat, not repeat it, but like kind of explain it. Oh my God. I'm like, dude, it's not hitting. Don't do, don't say that joke anymore. Um, now, uh, what I try to do, if I'm saying something immediately, I try to change the subject or, you know, go, go ahead and go, go in the opposite direction where I know something else will hit. It's just, it's funny because that's the time you go to open mic is to work it out. To work you know? it out. Yeah. yeah. You go up there, you, you talk about the Olympics, you talk about, you know, what's wow. going on in the news, you talk about whatever uh, is relevant. Yeah. And then if nobody's, it's not hitting, then you either move on or usually we like to, to comedy talk afterwards and be like, oh, did you hear my joke about this? And yeah. then we try to, 
um, you know. Try to fix it up and angle it away yeah, to make it yeah, work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that makes a lot of sense. And so to be, to be a good comedian, do you think you have to practice at it? Like actually have that stage time or can you be a, com be a good comedian without having that stage time? Um, I think it's a combination. Some, some people I feel, um, need that muscle exercise mm. if, if, you know, daily, if not for sure, week, weekly to get stage time. You mm. have to, it's, it's just, it's, it's like I said, exercising a muscle. You have to, yeah. you have to practice the public speaking, um, how to rebuttal when you do have a heckler, mm. um, working on crowd work. Uh, getting through jokes that are not hitting yeah. things like that. Like you do have to get through that. And that's um, doing it is part of it and getting roasted or getting heckled or getting that, that you have to get through that in order to grow. Yeah. Um, so, but then there are some comedians that I've known where um, they, they really don't come out to an open mic um, whether they're maybe they're, they're doing it in the, in the privacy of their home in a mirror. Mm. I, I really don't know their techniques, but um, for me, I have to have like the back and forth. Like I need to say something and then see if it worked. Like I, I need that. Yeah. Um, and so there, other comedians are a little bit different where they, they're able to work their stuff out and either with maybe just their family or, or, mm. you know. What do you, how do you feel about the, the corporate scene now? Like for, for comedians? And the corporate scene, I yeah. feel, well, you know, I've been doing open mic for almost 10 years now. Um, and I've been hosting the exchange for, for, for five and the comedians that I've seen come and go, I, I feel like it's grown. Um, since the pandemic, I have seen a change as far as like, um, the type of avenues comedians are taking in order to get their humor out, mm. you know? So that's different. And I feel like it's growing in different directions, especially mm. with improv. I feel like that needs to be more incorporated where people are able to do that. There's more mm. of, um, uh, what is it like crowd work going on? Yeah. So when an audience member comes back with you, you got to keep it going, oh, and, wow. you know? Yeah. 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 It's part of that practice what yeah. we're talking about. Yeah. It's just to be a better comedian. Do you feel like there's like, it's regarding like, cause you mentioned like a circle of comedians. It seems like there's a bunch of different ones. Every, not only here, but everywhere. Like, is there, do you feel like there's like tension between other comedians or how do you, how do you go about like navigating that? Um, it, it's hard to say because, you know, I've had falling out with really? with comedians. Ew. You know, it happens. I feel like in any, any industry, you're going to cross paths with people that don't have the same vision as you, mm -hmm. you know. Or maybe they're saying and doing things that really are not part of your mission or my values. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I try not to really work with comedians that say the n-word mm. you know i don't really work with comedians that talk about certain things that i'm not comfortable with you yeah. know so when it comes to booking for my show mm. i there are i go to open mics to see and watch and to see how do you handle yourself wow. can you handle a heckler can you can you do you even have a five a solid five minutes yeah. ten minutes to even uh get laughs yeah you know Wow, that's awesome. And so how long have you been doing that there at the exchange, like having that showcase? I've been hosting for five years. Um, a good friend of mine, he was uh, hosting <clears throat> the open mic there. And um, he ended up moving to um, Houston, uh, Max Richards. He's also a comedian. Wow. Um, and and when he moved, he was like, Tina, go ahead and take over. You're here every week. Like, <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. So I was, you know, I was really there every week. Um, helping yeah. him promote the open mic, cool. sell tickets, like anything. You need. Why, were you, just, why, why were you doing that? Like, just because you wanted, I mean, how come? Like, I, it, it, it feels good. Mm. Yeah. When you find something that feels good, right, you, right. you do it. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. Cause like some people wouldn't want to do that. And then, so eventually, so you got really involved in that and he turned it over to you. Yeah. He went to Houston. He moved to Houston. He does comedy out there now. Yeah. I was going to, I was going to say like, it seems like Houston has a big scene. Yeah. Have you considered moving out of town? No, no, okay. no, I'm a cotton picker. You cotton picker. Oh, come on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you're I, I, yeah. actually, I live, I've been living here in Corpus for, for, uh, yeah, for about 10 years. Uh, a little actually over 10 years now. Yeah. Um, but, um, I, yeah, this is, this is my, yeah, this gonna, my home. Gonna go my, home. my mom is in Rough Sound. I'm here in Corpus. We're just, it, this is home. Right yeah. On. I don't mind traveling. I love traveling. I've yeah. been doing shows out of town, out of state, but, 
um, and I come back home. So the, I guess I'm asking, like, because do you, like, do you want to make it big? Like, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And if so, like, do you feel like you have to move out of town or can you stay here to do that? You know you what I'm know, saying? I guess, you know, when I think about it, like, long term, mm. I, I just think about, like, I'm still doing it. Mm. I'm still doing it. I don't know if I'm going to get a bigger stage or not. It would... I don't know. I, I see what the possibilities are and it's a little scary. Wow. Yeah. Um, so right now I, I like, I'm still, I feel like I'm still learning. If if that comes along, that would be great. And I, I would just have to embrace it. Yeah. I feel like I'm still very green in the industry. Oh, wow. And yeah. That's cool. I, yeah. I mean, that's interesting to know, like, cause it seems like, <laughs> it seems like you'd, you're out there in Corpus and people know who you are. You know yeah. what I mean? And, who, and who knows? I was listening knows to the, the Lit, uh, Lit, what's the name of the podcast over there? Oh, Logan. Lit Logan? Lit Logan? Yeah, Lit Logan. And you were saying uh, something about uh, having the Ben Magazine. I lost my train of thought there. Being on the Ben Magazine for five years, but then you, oh, you're going to be on a show soon, right? Or did it pass? I can't remember when I heard the podcast. But you're like, ah, this is actually, I'm actually going to be a part of the show instead of like running the show. So you're actually, you're actually going to have time doing it. Oh. You know, doing, you know, doing your bits or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Has it been a, has it been a while since you've done, done your, your set? No, I do comedy every you week. You do it often? Yeah. Every week. Yeah. Every week. Yeah. yeah I'm so good, next, I'm... next weekend I'll be in San Antonio. I have two shows in San Antonio. And then when I come back to Corpus, I have the exchange. And then um, September 6th is the Friday Art Walk. Friday, right and I have a comedy show downtown at Mesquite. Cool. It's my birthday, Man, my that's birthday awesome. show. Birthday show? Come on. Yes. That's awesome. Yeah. And and you're, so you started com comedy on your birthday show. Yeah. On your birthday, right? Yeah, that's your why first... it's so special. Shout out to Anna and, and Brandon at Mesquite that I was, they were like, what are you going to do for your birthday? And I'm like, you know, maybe I should have a comedy show. <laughs> and they were like, We'll do it here. Hello. Yeah, how do you, duh. Yeah, 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 for sure. How, how do you feel about like where you're at now? Like, you know what I mean? I um I'm still super nervous. I I I I'm you know, I, yeah. I write and I'm trying and uh, I'm not for everybody, you know, so it's hard to make everybody happy. So I'm just trying to make myself happy. Like That's doing cool. comedy makes me happy and if people will laugh along the way then let's go let's, let's do go it. let's yeah. do it <laughs> but, you know it, i know you were asking me about like where do i see this going or whatever and yeah. and i like it would be great to have my own like you know what i mean spot i i don't necessarily think i have to move away and do all these mm. things and i it would i mean what if i had something here and i i had something here yeah. you know um, yeah. So, and then brought names. I mean, Joe Rogan is in Austin right now. Yeah, you, know? you mentioned. And yeah. then he has a club. So not only is he doing comedy, but he has a space where he can do comedy and have his friends do comedy wow. there too. So that I think maybe that would be maybe something in the future. I mean, I, I like to go travel and do shows all over. You know, I've been to Vegas and mm -hmm. um, all over Texas. So yeah, I would like to go do shows in other states and and yeah. all over the world. But. Um, maybe doing something here in Corpus would be that's or cool. in Robstown. Yeah, <gasps> no, yeah, yeah. Success looks different for everybody, and it seems like yeah. That's why I was approaching it like that. Oh, do you want to be like a famous comedian? But you're looking I at am it. famous. Oh, that's good. That's good. But and you're I'm looking famous at it. enough. <laughs> yeah, but I thought. Yeah, you mentioned that too. Like Joe Rogan moved to Austin. He's got his thing going on there. You mentioned that on that podcast yeah. as well. Shout out Lit Logan podcast. Uh, but yeah, doing it here in Corpus, that's that's awesome. Um, do you feel like that it that the scene is growing to will it get there? Do you think it could yeah, get there? It, you know, with the pandemic, that was kind of um, a bump in the road. You know, for us to get it going again, we were doing like Zoom comedy. Oh, it was, this, that's it was, so crazy! It was horrible, it was horrible during, during the pandemic. So um, now that we're what three, four years out of that whole weird situation. Um, I feel like more people are coming out. This is a form of coping because you're writing, you're performing, you're uh, going on stage and pretty much spilling your guts. It, it takes a lot to go <laughs> yeah. up there, you know? So I give props to anybody that even tries it once. Mm. You know, they don't have to make a living off of it, but just to even try it once. Wow. Uh, just to do it, you know? Yeah. What makes a good joke? What do you think makes a good joke? Um, I feel like if you can at least re relate to one person in the audience, oh. you know? Make wow. at least one person laugh because not everybody's gonna laugh, you know. But if you can make at least one person, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. So do you, do you like study the actual like how to write a joke or you just kind of just well like yeah you know so what I'm saying? 
Yeah. So when um, sometimes we do these writing sessions, like um, cool. on Mondays at Topology with Miguelito, um, there are kind of like writing sessions. The, he does this one thing where you kind of pull things out of a a, um, a bowl, and yeah. there's topics, you yeah. know. And so you got to make a joke and kind of work on that. And hey, if it's good, if you get a laugh, write it down, use it on your next wow, bit. You crazy. know what I mean? So um, there's t- there's things that we do. Um, we also, me and Anna had started uh, looking at a book where it kind of gives you a breakdown of, you know, taking time to pause. Um, even my good friend, Jan, mm-hmm. uh, she, she does musical, uh, comedy. Oh, yeah. So she writes like her songs in a comical way and then performs cool. them. She sings them with her guitar. So I feel like everybody kind of ha- finds their way. Some people are one liners, you know, they're just, Hey, have you ever heard of this? And then boom, 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 you get a laugh. Wow. And then, and then like, for me, sometimes I'll I'll go to open mic and I'm trying out a new bit, but it'll be a story. Like, okay, mm. check this out. This is some history. You say a little wow. bit of me, and then you do the punchline. You know what I mean? Like, so it's a little bit more of sto- storytelling. Yeah. Um. So there's a technique to each each. Do you think of a yeah. Do you think of a punchline first before you write the joke? Sometimes. sometimes. Sometimes I find something super funny, and I'm like, oh my god, how am I going to say that on stage? <laughs> so cool. Like, there's this one word I love. This word. What was it the other? Day? Oh, there's a couple of words I love. Pope. <laughs> <laughs> It's I love funny. that word. It's funny. Uh, it is. It's, it's so word. funny. And only certain people know that word. So Michael Michael White has a song called Gacho Pope. And when I was listening to it, I was like, dude, this sounds funny. It's a funny word. I'm sorry yeah. to cut you off. No, that, yeah, that's so, exactly it. Yeah. So like being that not everybody knows that, but if he says it, I'm going to laugh when he thinks it or yeah. when he says it. Because, you know, that's relatable to I've had Pope. I've had Pope. Boy, who has it, right? So... <laughs> Um, when it comes to stuff like that, yeah. when you relate, it's funny. Yes, exactly. Um, or if maybe you don't use that term, but you're like, Man, my mom used to say, or my abuela used to say that. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's a funny word. <laughs> so I need to really start working on that. So are you constantly thinking, you constantly thinking jokes? Like I wouldn't I mean, think constantly. I just feel like everywhere I go, let me see if I can make somebody laugh. Like even right now when I walked in with him, what, mm, I, I did my, some, my, yeah. what did I say? And I was all trying to make you crack up. Oh, your arm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I gave my, my hand a shake and said, I'm off. Did you get scared? No. Bit, yeah. yeah, see? <laughs> so. Wow, yeah. yeah. I Do feel you... like that breaks the ice. Like, it's, it's okay. Yeah, that's cool. We can cool. just laugh about it. Yeah, no, that's awesome. You think... <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, man, let's see what we got here. Open mic, uh, comedy shows. Uh, have you noticed any rising talents in the local scene that people should keep an eye on? Yeah, um, I truly encourage um, if people are looking for a good show or like local talent is to show up to an open mic oh. because you'd be surprised. There's some guys that are like, some, some of them are not even of age. I've seen kids sign up Wow! Um, and they'll go up there with like a funny story. And I'm like, dude, I think he's going to come out on like American Idol. You know what I mean? Like, what is it? Wow. America's got talent. Yeah. You know, like there's just people that have it. They have it that it factor you know um so you'd be surprised so yeah the open mics that i mentioned i would definitely check out the one on thursday at mesquite um monday at topology and then sunday at riches that one just started i think so i don't know if they're going to keep it going because they have like uh pool tables and things going on so Mm. um and i know topology i think it's like every other monday so you'll have to follow them to to see which dates oh. um, that is. And then Thursday, of course, it's every Thursday yeah. at Mesquite. So if you're downtown, um, that's the spot. We all hang out afterwards. So if anybody was like, well, I'm, I just want some tips or whatever, <laughs> like, we're down. That's all we do is talk comedy. That's all we want to do is go back and forth with jokes. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, hey, I brought all these drinks I didn't even offer you. Did you want to try one of these modelos? No, nah, I'm good. Yeah, Dude, I got, I got, I got, I got my selection here. <laughs> I got one in every flavor. I'm so excited to try these. Try I don't, even, I don't even drink. To. No, I don't even drink. But I'm excited to try I, these. You see, I don't drink either. I don't drink. Oh, you're so. I'm very so. I don't drink. I don't smoke. I people come and they ask me, "Can we smoke?" I'm like, "Nah." You know what I mean? You can smoke before you come. You can. It's fine yeah. with me. You know what I mean? I I just don't do it personally. That's actually that should it's be required. Person. You should yeah. smoke before you come. Here. Somebody was saying like, uh, "It's funny how when you tell somebody you don't drink, they're like, well, why? What's wrong with you?'" Instead of like saying, uh, like if, if they don't drink water, you're not like, hey, well, why don't you drink water? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. I mean? All yeah. dehydrated, all seca. Yes. Another funny word. Seca. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you find that certain words are like okay? So when you're when you're when you're doing your bit or whatever, do you find that certain words 
Do you have? Do you find like you have to use certain words to make it sound funny before you do the punchline? Because I hear that like if you use B's or P's or T's, you know what I mean? Yeah, more, yeah, like, and then you, that's how you like, uh, like enunciate them more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. To make it stand out, right? Yes, it's, yes. It's, it's, yeah, I, I, was, I was studying it. Like I was like, oh man, this is pretty cool, and I know. So that you're that, gonna, so you're gonna sign up. I've been, you're uh, I might. I don't know. Maybe. I think you just need to like. I know you're doing your research and you're thinking about but it. I'm, and you're looking at it. Yeah, just, exactly. But I'm like, I'm not a. Do but I'm like, I'm not a comedian. Like. No, you don't have to be a comedian. You know what I mean? Like, Open mic is for anybody. I'm just, a, I'm just, I just go to work. I, I, why, why am I, why would I do that? You know what I mean? That's my well, me, train of thought. Like, okay, well, me too. Me too. <laughs> I work at, I work for, in education during the day. You still you know, do hair? You still do hair? I do hair, yes. That's it. Oh, shoot. So why, what would I be what doing? What makes you different from me, right? That's what you're saying? No, I mean, once you go, um, I mean, there's a community there to support you for sure. And then um, it's so fun. Mm. So even when you're like, nah, I don't, I just wanted to try it out. Even if you come <laughs> a month later or a year later, it's still there, you know? <laughs> you ain't going nowhere. Cause, yeah, because I have my moments. I'll take breaks. I won't come out for mm. weeks, sometimes even months. Wow. And and take a break from comedy, and then of course I find my way back. So, hey. Yeah. Wow. So you so you you do hair. You still work at a, is it Aveda? I I would, you work there no more. No, I don't. Hey. I don't work there. You don't want to talk about? You don't want to elaborate? Oh, um, <laughs> That's okay. I mean I'm sure. I'm, no, I think they still have me on payroll. Yeah. All right. I, I could go fuck in tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah, I, I can literally go back. Yeah. <laughs> is, um, it, is it there on six six points? Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm more of like an on call substitute teacher. Yeah, so. go on, go on. Got yeah. that special title. Yeah. All right, substitute teacher. So. Awesome. Oh man, personal insight. Uh, how has comedy impacted your personal life? My personal life. I, well, like I said, I I try to be private. So. Um, if anything, it just takes time away from my family. You know, if I do have mm. like next week, <clears throat> next weekend, I'm going to be in San Antonio. So that means, you know, I work all week and then Friday, Saturday and Sunday, Sunday oh, wow. I'm going to be here. And usually that's the time I, you know, spend with my mom. So yeah. Is she by herself? Yeah. Oh no. You're interested or what? what? No. Like, <laughs> Cause if your mom's by herself, how old is she? You know what I mean? She's by herself. Cause you talk about your mom a lot, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. She's super independent. Oh. She just turned 76 last week. Oh, man. She's walking around? She's moving yeah. Around? I'm yeah. telling you, she's independent. She don't need me there. Nah. I'm like, Mom, let, call me if you need the, to cut the grass. I already cut it. I'm like, what? <laughs> she's stay over there. I don't need you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, can I go with the weed eater? She's like, I already did it. I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay. Well, can I come by? Did you cook something? <laughs> Dang, what's so what's her best dish? Oh, she all makes, of them. Uh, yeah, mom's mom's in the, mom in the kitchen is the best. Um, yeah. I want to say uh, a dish that she makes that I really don't you can't really order at a restaurant or like something I probably won't make at home is like her fideo. I love her. Fideo. Yeah. yeah, she makes some good and her tortillas so the, and all that. So did she teach you which one do you make best? I I, I could probably make fideos sem cl kind of close to her, but it's I don't know what it is about her. Like she yeah. she has the touch. So when I make it, it's a little similar, but it's it's not the same. You put the chunks of meat in there, yeah, Fidel, every time, right? Yeah. All oh, right. On. Yeah, you could. Hey, I haven't had it in so long. I can't remember what's yeah. in there. I'll tell my mom to make you some. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Come on, for real. You, hey, man, I miss grandma's <laughs> cooking for real. Damn. I'm getting hungry now. Don't even, man. Don't even start with that. Golly. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. been a minute since I had. And she she right? puts, a, like, she puts uh, a, a pot of beans too, like yeah, in the crock pot and everything. Yeah. So. yeah. That's what I'm talking I'm about. Going to Robson tonight, I guess. Oh man, <laughs> homemade tortillas too, God. Yeah. Oh man, Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown. <laughs> Thanks for the liquid death too. You're welcome. All the sponsor, you mean sponsor. Yeah, all the podcasters have them. I'm like, let me bring them. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Appreciate you. Stepan. Yeah. Liquid death, come sponsor and throw some money this yeah, way. Yeah, hell yeah. Mango chainsaw. You guys got to try it. Which one I tried? The green one. I can't remember. Is that the lime one? Yeah. The green one, and then they got the black one too. Yeah. But yeah, thanks for bringing that out. Oh man, so so what's the future for comedy here in Corpus, or for yourself, or what do you think? Um, well, every last Tuesday of the month, I'm at the Exchange, um, and then every Thursday, I'm at Mesquite for open mic, and I have a birthday show coming up uh, cool. next month. So you can find me around Corpus Christi, and then if you follow my page, I I, I usually have shows around Texas, so I kind of. Make a little Texas tour of Laredo, San Antonio, yeah. Austin, Dallas, Odessa. Um, I'm working with Aldo Caldo. Um, <laughs> cool. uh, have you have you heard That's of Aldo Caldo? Name, yeah. 
No, oh, no, no. He's awesome. He also does um, kind of comedic uh, musical. Oh, he's awesome. Nice. Right now, he's working with Chris Bettis. So he was in the studio not too long ago here. Wow, it's amazing. Um, yeah, and so I'm working with him because he books me to do. Uh, he just booked me to come out to West Texas. So, cool. um, yeah, I'm I'm working um, with Isaac and uh, Grim Entertainment, and there's just amazing people out there that that support this whatever i'm what i'm doing wow amazing and i've just been so blessed and so lucky that um that they want a cochina <laughs> i was gonna say the, so the, the your stage name do you think that helps out or i mean as, as far as like putting you like putting putting you on the bill or whatever or is it your comedy i mean what do you think what, what do you mean like because you're saying like they need a cochina out there like yeah you, so you like rec so recently last month i went to west texas and um i performed with omar um gooding i, I don't know if you know him he, he was in like movie. i live i live under a rock. i don't know people I, I hate when that people like bring out names i'm like i don't know and, well, I, okay. and then sometimes i just no, say no, no, oh yeah okay. yeah no. no no he's 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 actually an actor so oh, cool. it's kind of weird when I bring him up because people are like, "What? He does comedy now?" Oh. But he's a com he's a, a comedian in. I mean, he's a, an actor in comedy movies. Like oh. he was in Baby Boy and um, and uh, uh, Keeping Up with uh, Mr. Cooper. Remember that one basketball uh, show? Wow. I don't know. Anyways, so in West Texas, there's like uh, there was this show. I mean, it was like like four or five black guys on the show <laughs> and they called me to open the show and I'm like, me <laughs> this little this little Mexican girl wow, from Rockville. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. They flew me out to West oh, Texas. Cool. And then I ended up performing in New Mexico. Wow. They're like, can you come? And I mean, New, Me New Mexico is like a few hours That's away amazing. from Odessa. So I guess it wasn't too bad. But I'm like, me? Are you sure you, are you sure? Wow. And they're like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> it's crazy where it can, this comedy journey can take you, you wow, know? You it's meet, amazing. meet people I would have never thought. This guy was, this guy's in movies. I've seen movies. I've seen him on TV when I was a little girl. Wow. And then to be like, oh yeah, I'm opening for his show, his comedy show. It's just cool. mind blowing. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool to know. Do you, do you, and do you, do you offer your services? Like, do you say, hey, can I be on the, you know what I'm saying? Because people invite you, it seems like it. Do you like, like aspire to go yourself? You know what I mean? <clears throat> I, you know, I'm, I, like I said, I'm pretty private. So I, I haven't, I haven't really done that yet. Mm. A lot of people are like, hey, did, did you want to come out or do you have time? Are you able to travel? Or are you cool. able to come out? And so usually that's how I get opportunities. Um, Mario Superstar Salasad, I don't know mm. if you've heard of him. He also travels from uh, the Valley. He, he will be like, let's cool. go on tour and he'll, we'll go and he'll take me to West Texas and Austin and uh, awesome. San Antonio and let's go do show shows here in Mathis and even in, I even did a show with him in Freer. Like, <laughs> Freer? Yeah. Oh my God. That's what I'm saying. Like, close mall. Places that I, I'm like, are we, I'm, am I doing this? Yeah. Wow. Let's, where did y'all perform there? I go, I drive there every now and then for my job. There's a restaurant bar. Oh my goodness. I can't think of the name right now. Cross from the Dairy Queen? No, no. Oh my God. I know the owner. Her name's <laughs> Mina. I, I, that I remember. I want to say like Railroad. <laughs> Railroad something. Have you gone through Freer? Yeah. Okay. Well, apparently there's only one bar restaurant there's there. There's only one. Just, yeah. Okay. So that's the one. That's the one. That's where I performed. <laughs> that's where I was at. <laughs> I can't remember. Oh, man. That's like, wow. So that guy name. took you all these places. Man, that's awesome. Yeah. So, and Hobby, like, that's what I mean. Like, I'm so lucky that I network and I meet these other comedians that are willing to take me on the road with them, you know, or or have them on the, have me on their ticket yeah. to say, like, oh, yeah, you're going to host the show or you're going to, do a guest spot or you're gonna you yeah. know whatever i'm like really? <laughs> okay let's go let's, wow let's that's be, so crazy let's have fun see you mentioned networking do, do you know do, how did you do you know that do you know that that's important in what you do like networking yeah for sure i think my best uh connection has been brandon dolly um i met him or you know when i first started uh doing comedy and he is a social butterfly you mm. know how i said i'm pretty private he is not he's oh, like wow. networking hey what, what's where are you from and like you know do you have five or ten minutes and do you like he he he's the one that really is in my ear like hey we need to go to san antonio you need to meet so and so and so and so oh. and you need to go to this venue wow. and talk to so and so and i'm like oh man but he, he's the one that does a lot of my connections cool. or he's in my ears telling me like, Hey, I saw this person. They're really funny. We should bring them to Corpus. And so he kind of helps me, um, run the exchange when it comes to comedians, you mm -hmm. know, coming to Corpus you know, for cool. the first time. So, wow, that's amazing. It seems like you're in a good spot too. Like if we're bringing them on, they'll see you and yeah. then, man, that's good networking. Yeah. That's awesome, man. So they're, they're at the open mics uh, at your show. So <clears throat> how do you curate and host the comedy shows? What's your process? 
Um, well, usually I connect with the comedians first, you know, like who's going to, who's, who am I booking? Um, you know, what is their style? So a lot of comedians, I try to make them a little bit either like similar or how they would flow. They would kind of, you know, complement each other in the flow, you know? Yeah. Um, of course I ask for introductions, you know, how would you like me to introduce you? Um, and <laughs> anything like that. And then in between, if I am able to squeeze in maybe a little joke or a little, you know, something about them, yeah. um, or their situation or anything funny to kind of bring them up, I'll add that in. But for the most part, I really do try to like, uh, get, we'll be in a group message or a group, you know, and try to vibe or hang out before the show wow. starts. So cool. So. Yeah. <clears throat> Have you ever had to follow somebody to where they're like their act, like the people didn't vibe with, with their, sh their bits? Like, have you ever followed that type of person? To of course, all the time. Yeah. How do you, <laughs> how do you do that? Like, how do you, how do you bring it back up to the level that, you know, that you want it to be at? Um, is it hard? Yeah. It's yeah. Hard. Sometimes, some, you know, sometimes, um, but sometimes that's the, that is how you, you bounce back. You right. get on there and you're like, all right, that's enough. Like, you know, <laughs> you address it and say, okay, elephant in the room. And then, and then, you know, you bounce back and then you try to, you gauge, like they weren't responding to yeah. whatever he was saying about so-and-so and all oh, they didn't really like when they talked about wow. whatever so you're wh while you're fixing to go up you're also analyzing the audience you're reading the crowd mm. um to see what material you can and cannot do what you can touch on and stuff so. yeah do you feel like do you feel like you have secrets that you, you don't want to give away as a comedian secrets do, like do comedians do that like like they don't want to give away you know what i'm saying like I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I'm an open book. I, all like, the comedians are like, hey, Tina, let me, I don't know. Yeah, you can ask me anything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no. I, 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 I don't feel that way, but I'm sure some comedians have their own uh, routine or maybe something yeah. that they do special that works for them. Yeah. Um, and not necessarily share that. Mm. I, I, I'm sure. <laughs> um, but I'm, I'm pretty open about my process and yeah. how I book and who I book and how my process is That's when cool. I, when I accept. Sometimes I, I do have to turn down you know, offers and, and it's, it's kind of hard because mm -hmm. if they're telling me like, yeah, we love it. And sometimes it's, it's for something, you know, that I wish I could overcome. But like mm -hmm. I said, sometimes I've had a uh, falling out with comedians. And so I'm wow. not able to work with certain people because of wow, falling awesome. out. Yeah. It costs, it costs time. It costs oh, man. shows. Yeah. Right on. So, uh, was it personal insights? Uh, what is, what else we got here? We got 34 minutes. How's, uh, how's it been going for, how's, how's it going so far for you? What do you mean? You like the show? Yeah. Are you having fun? Yeah. <laughs> trying not to fall asleep, man. I'm tired. I'll be trying to make it through the day. I'm but... not boring. Why? Dang. All right. Oh, cheers, sir. Yes. Cheers. 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 If we were live, I would be asking for questions and stuff. Just trying to keep it going. <laughs> I feel bad too. All your sleep. I feel bad. I feel bad too because man, I I haven't been to a show. I got another guy that I know. I know, dude. You don't even know what to ask me. You I, haven't even come to a show, dude. I, I I was wanting to make the one the, the last one open mic or the last one at the exchange, but I work. My work hours freaking suck. I went to Houston like twice this week. I only got like freaking throughout the whole week like so many hours of sleep. I just can't make it out and it sucks. You know what I mean? And Lito, I know Lito too. He's a clean comedian or whatever. Lito. Yeah. Uh, he he puts his stuff out. I've been wanting to see him too. I don't know. I feel so bad. And I, when I told you, I was like, the last one I went to is in California. You are, do you live uh, closer out to the island? Because um, no, my I friend didn't. Sean Miller has uh shows out there oh, you got one there too yeah out there on the island um we have shaky jake also who has shows out there in the island cool. so if you're if you don't want to come all the way downtown there's shows no. out there on the island <laughs> see this is gonna make me even look even worse because i live down the street from here ah <laughs> i'm literally at the exchange in the ski right here hey well that's another reason why i do this just to get to know who people are like i just i just recently came out of my show like with this brand and podcast and stuff like that. Cause all these people that I'm talking to, I don't know none of them. And, and like, I, I don't, I had, I don't know what's going on in the scene. Just starting up my Instagram, learning a whole lot of stuff about the corpus scene and how it is, you know, it, it's all new to me, you know? So I pretty much keep to myself anyway, cause that's just the type of person that I am. Well, not if you come to an open mic, uh, yeah. Yeah, all of them are going to bombard you. Yeah. It's going to be, it's going to be nice. It's going to be nice when I go. So. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Uh, so, so what's what's in the future for Tina La Cochina comedy? The future is every last Tuesday of the month at the Exchange, um, the birthday show next month, 
And then, um, yeah, you'll see me around Texas. You'll, you'll see me around. Um, you'll, you'll come out to a show and then you'll invite me back on to the podcast before oh, yeah. I move to New York and go on HBO. And Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Bring some other comedians. Uh, bring, bring a few other comedians on. Yeah, you should have told me. I would have brought... Man. Uh, well, yeah, next time. Will we have you guys on? Then we'll go live. Yeah, that'd be cool. But yeah, for sure. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, so, <clears throat> what do you see? Would you ever consider expanding your comedy to, into other formats like podcasting or acting? Yes. Definitely. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. My... Uh, you know, the, my circle gets bigger and bigger. I meet people and they're like, hey, have you ever thought about this? And that's why, you know, maybe 10, 20 years from now, you know, like I say, I would have my own space where I'm able to do that. Man, um, and I, that's why I appreciate spaces like this, like produce be... where people can come and really work on their craft. Have you met Dusty? Yeah, of course. Cool. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, this space is awesome, man, to be able to do this. And like since I've done it, like people see it and they're like, oh, that looks cool. A lot of people have been wanting to come on. They'll they'll shoot me a message. Hey, can we go on the show? Oh, people ask you to get they, on the show. They, well, I I started asking people. Uh-huh. Did I ask you? Or I can't remember. Did I ask you? Did you, you said ask? Andy. Yeah. Yes. You. Yes. So I asked. So I asked people to come on. And then since I you started, asked me, and you haven't even seen a show. Man, my memory freaking sucks. I haven't seen a show. I gotta go see a show. I'm gonna be out there one of these days. <laughs> Just we'll put that there. So, anyways, people people have been wanting to come on, and then this one guy was like, "You should get a uh, like a politician or whatever." And then Andy was like, "Man, this guy's trying to get you shot." <laughs> <laughs> so he was like, "You should ask him the really hard question." Yeah. And then Andy's like, "No, you you're trying to get you shot." <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, so, lastly, what what legacy do you hope to leave in the in the comedy world or in the corpus comedy scene? Oh wow, hmm. I've never really been asked that. A legacy. I don't know. Um, I feel like people get the uh, misconception of of Cochina, right? People mm-hmm. think like, oh, she's dirty. She's gonna, you know, yeah. she probably has a real potty mouth. I don't. I I go on stage and I just I I spill my heart. Like I'm just talking about things I go through and um, things like that. They, people think it's automatically dirty comedy. Like I'm talking about like sex. And all, it's not like that. I mean, yeah, I, I, I'll, it's in my set somewhere, but right. um, so really, I just want to make people laugh. I mm-hmm. just want people like, don't take it so serious, you know? Yeah, that's cool. That's good. That's good to know because people have a lot of misconceptions about that. Yeah, and Rockstown and the name, yeah, and, and Cochina, and yeah, people have seen me or maybe knew me in the past or maybe think one thing of me and yeah. they've never met me. You've never even met me. When I when I first saw you, now that was a cool name. Like I didn't even think like that. Like that. Oh, it's just gonna be nasty. I was just like, oh, that's a pretty cool name. And then you had mer- like merch with Cochina, yeah. On it. And the what you gave us this right here, yeah, Cochina comedy. Man, that's dope. That's pretty cool, yeah. And I like to My see Wella special sauce. Hell yeah, man! It's cool to see that there's comedians here in Corpus, and there's there's an actual scene, a comedy scene. Yeah, you should come out yeah, I'm and trying, support. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. <laughs> hey, well, you invited me on, so that's yeah. cool. I appreciate that. Yeah, no, no. It's uh, like I've had like another comedian on. At Andy's been on, you've been on. So it's cool to know that that there's a scene going on in here. And I hope this, because I'm gonna clip clip this up and. Psh, you know, shared and stuff like that. So hopefully more people can see what's going on in your scene. Is there anything you'd like to share before we go? Um, I don't know. No, I guess. I, I don't know. <laughs> Follow. Any jokes, any jokes show. or what, what's your, what's the most recent bit that you're working on? Do you oh share? man. You, Everybody's you been, every, do you, uh, what? Do you share that kind of stuff? What do you mean? Like sh- your bits, like the, what you're working on? Yeah. I mean, everybody's asking me about my hand, right? Yeah. So, and I tell everybody like, oh, I'm I fight in the UFC now. Like I'm a UFC. <laughs> or, or, or I've been telling people like, oh, I fell off my motorcycle. Like yeah. I've never, I do not have a motorcycle. <laughs> you believe me, right? <laughs> you didn't know I, I, was I you, Yeah, I so believed you when you were talking to that lady outside. You're like, oh, I fell off Oh, my I motor- told her too, yeah, right? Yeah, when you're telling her, I was like, oh, damn, it's for real. Yeah. So you- <laughs> Yeah. So, so, so what's the best ones? Is yeah, that the so best when ones? I go on stage, I tell, you know, I go up there and I'm like, yeah, everybody wants to know what happened, you know. And I tell, I went to the emergency and I told them that I slipped and I fell down the stairs, you know. But to be honest, there has to be an easier way to get rid of this baby. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm here laughing. 
you. <laughs> Thank you for being pro-choice. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's cool. So green, did you get to choose the color? I did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I picked it. It looks dope. Yeah. My nephew, my nieces, they all uh, wrote something. My mom, she put, poor baby, get well soon. I'm like, mom, can you sign it? And that's what she put a little note. <laughs> my nephew did uh, a spaceship um, abducting a dinosaur. And my nieces put little flowers. My sister made a flower. Pop that nugget. Who put that? Sean Miller popped that nugget. <laughs> he put that. Uh, what is this called? The uh, Roblox? not Roblox. Uh, uh, Minecraft. Minecraft. There you go. And then looks like a copyright signal. Oh, copyright! <laughs> copyright! It's <laughs> uh, awesome. And some signatures. I got Javi Luna signed it the other day. He was performing. Uh, with Jerry Garcia and Concrete. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if you've heard of those comedians, but man, they're, they're hilarious. And he was able to, he did awesome. He opened the show. Cool. So I got him to sign it. And then I got Matt and Randy, my babe over here. Awesome. And my niece did a little kitty. So cool. My when does it come off? Hopefully soon, dude. I can't do anything. I don't think I can pull my oh, hair. No. <laughs> Nothing. I'm over here with my left hand doing my eyeliner. <laughs> Oh my god! I have one eyeliner going this way. One eyeliner going... I tried my best, dude. And yeah. then not even anything. I was like, I thought I was gonna be late because I go home and two pipes busted under my house. Oh no! Yeah, yeah. So calling a plumber. There's sewage hey. coming up the tub. It's oh, a shoot. mess right now. So I don't even know what I'm going home to right now. Oh shit! <laughs> Just happy to be here. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, thanks for coming on the show. Is there anything else you'd like to share? I don't know. Come to a comedy show. All right. Everybody, Thursday, so everybody come to a comedy show. On Thursday. Show. So Thursday, Thursday, this Thursday? Every Thursday is open mic. Right. My show is the last Tuesday of the month. Open mic over here? No, not open mic. I have a show What's every the... last Tuesday of the month. Okay. What's happening this Thursday? This Thursday is open mic. It's free. You can go any Thursday. At, at the Mesquite Street? Yeah. All right. I'll probably, I'll probably make that. I'll be off on Thursday. Thursday night. Thursday it night. starts at 9, so get there at 8. 30 but if you plan to sign up get there at eight <laughs> so why get there at 8 30 because you gotta get in line i'm telling you there's 30 comedians oh you gotta beat them. damn yeah <laughs> you gotta get in line do a lot of people show up or what does yeah. it look like yeah that's cool that's good it's good for yeah. the thing have well, you had their food no do you support local <laughs> i do from a distance i mean i, I wouldn't say that i go i'm like who's like, your who's your pizza where do you get pizza uh sam and louise or New York, uh, New York. You don't uh, go to Marty right here. I've been there. I've been to Marty's. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I've been to Marty's. Like I said, like I just, I just recently started getting out there to know who's out there, what's out there. So I'm trying. I'm, I'm working my way that way. So okay. I can't say that I, that I'm like full, full fledged like some people, but it's all that's that's just who I am. So yeah, we'll be out there. So Thursday, if y'all, if they're gonna be on Thursday, be off on Thursday. So I actually put it in my calendar to be out there on Thursday. Yep, that's it. <laughs> well, thanks for coming on the show. We'll thanks see you for later. Having me. All right, thanks a lot, you guys, for watching. Stay tuned for the next uh, couple episodes. Check out uh, Thursday Thursday night open mic every other Tuesday at the Exchange. No, last Tuesday of the month. Last Tuesday of the month at the Exchange. Uh, Tina La Cochina is hosting a hosts a show every last Tuesday of the month. Check her out. Check them out. Appreciate you guys. Have a good one. Bye.